Hi guys, welcome to our Spring Boot and React Full Stack Development course by Aliyu Sahabo Adam Coding Techniques. In this tutorial series, you will learn how to build a full stack web application and whether you are a beginner or an expert looking to improve your skill, then this tutorial is for you. So let's look at the project overview. In this course, you will build full stack web application with Spring Boot and React and we will build the employee management system. And in this tutorial, it is not only that you will learn about the React and I will also introduce you to new front end technologies like Redux, which we will use for managing state of the application. So. Here is the crude futures that is in the project, which is add employee, delete employee, update employee, or read employee. So first let's look at what is Spring Boot. Spring Boot is a powerful and popular framework for building Java applications. It facilitates the development process by providing a set of standards and defaults which allow developers to quickly create production ready application. So this is Spring Boot and let's look at the React.js. React.js is a powerful JavaScript library used by developers to create user interface for web application. It was first created by Facebook in 2011 to improve the performance and has since been widely adopted by developers around the world. So what you will learn in this project? You will build your first full stack web application with awesome UI using the React and Spring Boot. You will introduce to a basic of React which include component, JSX, state and props. You will learn how to effectively use React Rotor with functional component. You will learn how to connect your React frontend and Spring Boot backend. You will learn how to make REST API call with Axios. You will introduce to basic of Redux which include reducers, action and stop. You will learn how to configure MySQL with Spring Boot. You will also learn how to develop Spring Web MVC application with Spring Boot. Okay, so this is what we have in this part one of this series. See you in the next video, which we will look at the architecture of the application.